Well, now that war is imminent at any moment, John Bolton's pushing for it. He's going to get it. Do y'all want to know what Iran has to fire at Israel? Do y'all really want to know what they got, what their ballistic missiles are, and what they're capable of? Well, you came to the right place. I wanted to know, what in the hell does Iran have to smash the Holy Land? Because they're always making threats that they're going to smash them, they're going to get them, they're going to nail them, they're going to nail our ships now. Well, let's see, because the ones that I was looking into were the FAR and the Shahab 3 that they're talking about. Well, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the big ones that they got that they don't release to the American public. All right, first up, we have the Gadar 110 missile range. 3,000 kilometers. Holy shit. This is their biggest one. That will strike the Holy Land. That will strike any carrier. That'll start. That'll strike Qatar. Their days are numbered when this fucking thing goes. So, Israel, this is the one you really got to watch out for. This is the one that you definitely want to have your Patriot system aiming for. This one has got your fucking name on it, so your nuclear power plants are well within range of this thing, so you need to watch out for this missile. So the the Ahmad missile, the next one is called the Ahmad. This one's a, not as far, but it's a much bigger, it's a much bigger fucking missile, but the range of the Ahmad is 2,500 kilometers. Wow. 2,500 kilometers? Wow, there you go, there you go. That one's well within reach of you too, Iran. Or I mean Israel, There, that one can strike you. So there's another one that they have. Netanyahu, they got a whole fucking battery of these things. See what I mean? When you attack Iran, that's a big nation to be attacking. They have Scud missiles, dude. Yeah, that's right, everybody. They got them. You may not want to, you may not even know where Iran is on a fucking map, but you know what? I know where that motherfucker is, and I know what they're capable of. Well, they got one more big missile in their disposal that they're threatening to use this one on the U.S. carrier group. It is called the Ashura missile. The Ashura. The Ashura missile, his range is 2,000. 200 kilometers. This is their carrier killer. Along with the Shahab 3. So these are just some of the missiles that are being released that they have. That I found out that they have in their fucking arsenal. Wow. They got some nice ones, don't they? See what I mean? It's not as easy as you think, is it, U.S. Marines? The second you try to make an invasion out of there, the second these missiles are going to fly towards the motherland, I mean the Holy Land. The Holy Land will be struck. I guarantee you the Holy Land will be struck by some of these. The Iron Dome and the Patriot Missile Defense System and THAAD will do their damnedest. They will shoot down the majority of them, but some will land. Some of these missiles, if there is a war, will land in the Holy Land. I guarantee fucking it. They're coming in so fast, they're not going to have much time to respond with the Patriot. But I don't like the Patriot because that piece of shit system takes anywhere from like two and a half to three minutes to even set up, to even fire. What a shithole. Yeah, the dreaded S-400 comes in at like fucking whopping 28 seconds. In 28 seconds, you can have a missile in the air. That's pretty fucking quick. So, so you better be on your goddamn missile defense systems. You better get ready. Have somebody manning that motherfucker at all times, because I got a feeling one of these fucking missiles, as soon as something here happens over there, these fuckers are going to start flying. So uh, the uh, one of the main things that the United States has to watch out for is the Mishkat. It's called the Mishkat Torpedo. Mishkat Torpedo, it has a range of, get this, 2,000 kilometers. This is what they're carrying on their bigger ships. This is what can and will sink U.S. ships if they intend to fire. If they overwhelm our ships, I'll guarantee you that a few of these will get by and will sink U.S. ships. 
If they got some nice torpedoes that travel that kind of fucking range, holy fuck, you can launch them from a long ways out. You can launch these things out from 2,000 kilometers and the torpedo will just come and come and come and come and come. You won't even know until it just a blimp, blip on your fucking, st on your little uh, dash there and then BAM! Light up your radar, so... Watch out, watch out, U.S. Navy. They got some shit over there. They got some missiles that could definitely hit you, so be careful, stay safe. What's going to happen? I don't fucking know. All I know is this is the kind of heat that they're bringing. They're bringing the heat, dude. They got the missiles. They're planting the bombs right now as we speak. Sorry to be a fear monger, but you know what? Some people need to know what these motherfuckers got, what they're capable of. And some people on my channel want to know that kind of stuff, so... Because you're not going to see that on Fox News, Morning Fucking Joe, I'll tell you that. You're not going to wake up the Morning Joe seeing that kind of shit. No, no. No, they're, they're just saying, well, they got bad missiles that could do some badness. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, they got some fucking badness over there. Naughty, 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 Iran. You've, in, you've invested a lot of money, a lot of money into stockpiling munitions and tanks and planes and missiles. But what they really sunk the majority of their money into is missiles and spreading terror cells throughout the world. That is what Iran has really dumped their money into. Is missiles. Well, I said it, as soon as we attack, these missiles are going to fly. They're, gonna, they are, they're already aimed at Israel right now as we speak. They're already on the launch pads. They're on code red. All U.S. coalition forces are on the state of code red right now. Everybody's on code red. The B-52, as of uh, just a few minutes ago, is still flying overhead. It is still flying right over the top of the U.S. aircraft carrier right now as we speak. The USS Abraham Lincoln. So it's getting crazy down there. Fucking, uh, and then you got Putin. He's got his Navy coming in here soon in the next couple days. So things could get really bloody really fast, but there's the missiles. So the one you really got to watch out for, uh, the US is the Ashar. The Ashar missile coming in at 2,200 kilometers. You really got to watch out for this guy. This is the one that they're, they're threatening to use against you. So, and that's according to their fucking news over there. So, it's all over Iranian news how we're going to defeat you, defeat you. They're not scared of you. Your fucking ships are now their targets. They have these missiles on the launch pads ready to go. And these missiles are traveling at such speeds that I believe would take out our carriers if, if, they, have, if they did fire them. If they fired two or three of these missiles, you can guarantee that the United States USS Abraham Lincoln will be sunk. I repeat, the US Abraham Lincoln will be sunk. They can handle maybe one to two of these things shooting them down, but a battery of these things? Tran is right. What he said, what Rouhani said is right. If they fired like 12 of these fucking things that are, are, are just ships, or dozens of them, there will be ships sinking. I guarantee you, they're moving way too fast. These things are coming in at fucking hypersonic speed, so. All right, well, at least we know what kind of toys they got. We got some toys, too. We got the goddamn Triton 2s over there, so. We got 24 of them motherfuckers loaded in the USS Ohio-class submarine over there, so. Don't you think one minute, Rohani, that we don't have our shit over there, too. So if you want to fire away, then fire away, motherfucker. Because we got our shit too, baby. And we're ready and we brought our party favors. Looks like you guys have been spending a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money on your missiles. And you know what? That's good. Having self-defense as a nation is a good thing. And I'm going to tell you, hey, way to go to protect your fucking country. But guess what? When the might of the U.S. is hitting you, eh, it's probably not going to go so well for you. But you're going to get a few shots off. I know you are. You're going to get a few of those missiles off the pads. I know you are. So there ain't no fucking way in hell the U.S. is going to be able to stop all these missiles. There's just hundreds upon hundreds of missiles ready for launch right now. So they're on the pads, ready to go. So watch out, world. These fucking missiles have a range of 
3,000 kilometers. So they're well within range of fucking Israel. So get your missile systems ready, Israel. The heat's coming. All right, love y'all. As always, peace and love from Fargo. Stay strong, be vigilant, especially right now. Put your fucking eyes behind your heads these days when you're walk walking around in public because these fucking terror cells are right in your backyard. All right, love y'all.